desert is a brutal place. Temperatures can reach over 110 degrees in the summer. No water for miles. There is no shade. In April, the temperatures can range between 70 degrees to 90 in the desert between Phoenix and Tucson. Now, imagine carrying a 20-pound musket, ammunition, water, and food supplies, not to mention the weight of your beliefs on your shoulders. This was the reality of the 23 soldiers involved in the Battle of Picacho Pass. So right now, we're going a long way to go find the site of the Picacho Pass battle. Between Confederates and Union soldiers, not many people know about it, and it happened here in Arizona, so we're taking a very long trip to go do this. Pretty exciting. Let's see what happens. And this peak right here is Picacho Peak. And in between Picacho Peak and Newman Mountain, they built a big public highway in one of the biggest battlefields of Picacho Pass in Arizona. And right behind me is Newman Peak, one of the two mountains where it is estimated that the battle was fought. In this battle, there were 13 Union, 10 Confederate soldiers, three Union died, and three Confederates were captured by the Union. A hundred and sixty years ago, on April 15th, 1862, the Union soldiers came in from the north and the south to get the Confederates who were here on the hillside. Now right here is the rock and a really old cactus that was here during the Battle of Picacho Pass. And now can you imagine if you were at this rock and you were taking fire and you had to take cover? <laughs> All right, so if you see behind me, you can see the highway. And it's actually pretty uh, crazy how even, even now and today, we use the same exact path that the Union soldiers did. Um, that is because it's a pretty simple path where it goes between these two mountains. Uh, you can see why the Union soldiers went this way, but didn't end up working out for them. So of the three Union soldiers that died, Private George Johnson, Private William Leonard, and the more famous Lieutenant James Barrett, which was the commander who led the Union into the attack. All right, so you can see here, uh, we have the uh, pretty much timeline of the, of the battle. So you can see here on the southern half of Arizona and New Mexico is all Confederate territory. See where we are is just north of Tucson. So it's about an hour drive from the school. Um, if we walk over here, you can see the, the cannon which is the Mountain Howitzer Cannon Model 1841. Pretty crazy. Um, this would have been one of the cannons that was used in the battle. Although cannons weren't really used in this battle, but in battles at the time, this cannon was used. amazing being out here and just when you start to realize that 160 years ago you're standing on the same very soil that confederate and union soldiers did it's incredible and i love every second of it i'm love that we're out here because i mean look at that unfortunately that's not what the confederate and union soldiers were looking at the entire time said they're battling over slavery but still being out here is absolutely incredible In a daring 30-minute effort, we took to find the Confederate memorial sign, which was right here, but due to recent events, it's been taken down. And we know it's been taken down because we did some research, and we compared it to the background and the scenery in the back, and it matches up exactly. So it has been taken down due to recent events. However, it's been a great day out here. We've had a grand time coming to Picacho Pass. 
and really understanding this very small Civil War battle, the only one to happen in Arizona, absolutely incredible to be standing where they stood, looking out over what they looked out. These mountains, these cactuses, these rocks all heard the gunshots of those 23 soldiers that stood here 160 years ago. Thank you for watching this documentary. Have a good one. Let's go! Yeah.